Hello there, dear friends, and welcome once again to the Relaxed Fantasy Review. Today, we're diving into a brand new book, The Tome of Heroes. This is a 5th edition expansion book that was written by Kobold Press. Yes, Kobold Press is one of those third-party publishers that helps folks get their books out there, and um, they are 5e compatible. So this is a, another third-party book that expands upon the regular Dungeons & Dragons that we all know so well. We're going to be going over several new races and subclasses within this book to discuss some more mechanical options for those of you who wish to go a little bit outside the scope. And today we're going to be talking about a new race called the Alcid. The Alcid are similar to centaurs in the sense that they are part person, part animal, and the animal that they are very similar to are deer. They have antlers and the sort of four-legged body similar to centaurs and have a very naturistic theme compared to centaurs, which have a little more of a, you know, combat-focused theme. We'll get into the details of the Alcide in just a moment, but before we do, I'd like to let you know, Relax Fantasy Review has memberships. For just a dollar a month, you can support me here on YouTube and get a couple benefits. First, you get a little badge next to your name in the comments, letting folks know that you're a supporter, but also you get early access to my videos. I upload videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I upload them a day early for members only. If that interests you, you can click the join button just below the video down there. I'd love to see you in the comments. And uh, if it doesn't, that's totally fine. Just liking, subscribing, heck, just watching the video at all is a great way to support me, and I'm very thankful. So thanks for watching my content. So Alcide, uh, because they were, I believe this book was written, um, or at least designed, before Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, because these races that are in this book actually have a standard ability score increases. The Alcide get a plus two to their dexterity and a plus one to their wisdom. Uh, these are both good skills to have. Dexterity is arguably the best skill in the game. And wisdom is d good depending on who you're playing. I give these 10 out of 10 and 6 out of 10 respectively. They are medium-sized creatures, which makes them the larger of the two player sizes, and I think that that's the best size you can be. I give that 10 out of 10. And they have a 40-foot movement speed, similar to their centaur brethren. This is great. It's one of the fastest speeds you can have in D&D naturally. I give that 10 out of 10. And they naturally have dark vision as well. Standard 60 feet of regular dark vision. All races that don't have it wish they did. I give that another 10 out of 10. So we're doing good so far. Then they get a little bit of extra weapon training. Regardless of their class, they get proficiency with spears and with short bows. Both decent weapons. Spears do qualify for the Polar Master feat. Short bows are ranged weapons that are simple, and these are both good ones to have. I will say that most characters that want to use these weapons already have proficiency in them, so, you know, most creatures get simple weapon proficiencies. But on the rare occasion that you need this and you don't have it, I'm going to give this 7 out of 10. They also have the Light Hooves property. This naturally gives them proficiency in the Stealth skill, which is, for my money, one of the top three skills in the entirety of D&D. It is a fantastic skill to have proficiency in. It comes in handy all the time, and I give it 10 out of 10. Then they have the Quadrupod feature. This is, again, very similar to their Centaur Brethren, but it's a little bit worse, actually. Climbing up basic things like ladders and ropes is difficult for them. It counts as extra difficult uh, movement. And uh, when they try to move through doors and other hallways that are built for medium-sized creatures, they actually have to squeeze through them, which is normally what would happen if a medium-sized creature has to move through a small space built for small creatures. They have to squeeze but this is a medium creature who has to squeeze through spaces meant for medium creatures. It's a pretty significant um, penalty. I mean, if you're in open areas or if you're in big rooms, it's not a big deal. But narrow hallways can actually prove challenging for you. This is a pretty significant downside. And I'm going to give it 3 out of 10 because it's a nerf to the race. 
But they do have another thing, it's called the wood friend feature. This means that they leave no traceable tracks while they're in the forest. Similar to Pass Without Trace, except without the plus 10 to uh, the stealth checks, and uh, it only works in the forest. But, when you combine this with their Light Hooves feature, these guys make for very stealthy creatures. Not to mention they're, you know, plus two to dex, naturally. Uh, this specific feature, Wood Friend, leaving no tracks in the forest, decent. Obviously, Pass Without Trace can mimic it, but as a racial trait, I'm going to give it 7 out of 10. And finally, for their languages, they speak Common and Elvish, naturally. So they are bilingual, but they don't get to pick their languages. Which is fine, you know, whatever. I say 8 out of 10 for being bilingual. Overall, the All Seed are, like I said, very similar to Centaurs. They get the same kind of speed, the same kind of climbing disability, um, but they're much stealthier and more dexterous rather than kind of the strength, strong type uh, horse people. Overall, I give them an 8 out of 10. They are a very shoehorned build, very specifically built for speed and stealth but only in open areas. Not great inside buildings or narrow hallways. Uh, I still think that there's a lot of merit to these guys. If you like a little bit of deer flavor with your centaur, the Alcide could work for you. Talk to your DM, see if they're willing to let you play this race. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, a, cool, it's a cool one with a couple very, very interesting features. I say 8 out of 10. This has been the Relaxed Fantasy Review. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below. Have a look for the join button down there, and keep your eyes peeled for more book or more uh, races from the Tome of Heroes coming down the line soon. Have a good one, my friends.